Good morning, children. Uh, once again, I welcome you all on my channel. And in this video of lesson number 19, I am telling you only about the journey of Bajra seed from a field to a plate. Let's see what is the journey, what is the uh, path of a Bajra seed. Okay. Now, uh, for this, you have to observe these, these pictures. See, this lady, the first uh, place of the Bajra seed is the field from where this lady is uh, cutting the cobs of Bajra. And in, this is the Oakley in which it put and with the help of a hammer like thing, he take out these seeds. These are the Bajra seeds. In the next part, he put these seeds in the Chakki or you can say this, the hand made Chakki in which it convert these seeds into a powder like thing, which we call the flour the flour the, or the atta with the help of sieve or the chalni they sieve it and make it and then they knead this knead means they uh, add water into it and make a dough with the help of this dough the lady with the help of the hands only can make the chapati or the roti and on the tawa of this chula the roti is cooked or baked and then the roti is ready see these are the different nine steps which you can observe the path or the journey of a small bajra seat to a plate here so many techniques are used the first one is here means which cob has to be cut because in the bajra seed the whole crop is not cut together only the seeds the cobs having the bigger seeds and uh, in a stage of uh, drying drying stage they all are only cut by the farmers then they have to take out the seeds with the help of very carefully this is again one technique means how much pressure one should put on these cobs to take out these seeds the next technology is the using of this chakki in which the seeds are crushed into a very fine powdered thing to make this flour. And after that, a sieve or a chalni is used. This is again one technique so that the uh, bigger parts are come separated from the thinner ones, the small uh, smaller parts. Because if the we cook the this atta or this flour, the chapatis are not able to make because the flour of the bajra seed is very dry in nature. So it should be very fine. It should be very fine, very powdery. And then adding water into it means only with the help of hot water by adding little, little water in it, the dough is, uh, the atta is converted into dough. And with the help of the hell, the pressure of the hands it is again one next technique with the help of the hands pressure the lady convert this dough into a circular form called chapati and with the help of low flame in the chula it is cooked into a crispy chapatis to eat with the help of uh, along with the butter or with any kind of vegetable stew like uh, uh, undhia and uh, butter, milk, chach or with homemade butters also, you can eat it. It is very tasty. It, the bajra seeds are generally used during the winter season because it is assumed that it is, uh, it has a hot, uh, heat, warm quality. It makes your body a little warm up and it is very uh, useful during the winter season. Means the word I use here is the technology. The technology means it doesn't means that uh, a big machines are used to make only the technology is said. A small little things can be known as the technology. Okay, a special process like straining floor, pouring water slowly, all this. So this is the all about the journey of Bajra seed from the field to the plate. 
thank you for watching this video and if you like it share it and subscribe it to your friends also thank you thank you